What up, guys? Here to talk about Reggie Jackson and John Wall, and I'm going to leave y'all with who the, is the better point guard. Um, Right now, I'm going to start off with Reggie Jackson. I'm just going to do the minutes and points um, with these two. So let's get this shit started. As soon as my stuff load, I'm going to do it. Okay. Starting with OKC, Reggie Jackson, 2011 out of 12, he averaged 11.1 minutes per game and three points per game. 2012-2013 with OKC, he averaged 14.2 minutes per game and averaged 5.3 points a game. 2013-2014 with OKC, he averaged 13 minutes and 5 points per game. 2014-2015, he averaged 12.8 points a game. What, uh, what, he averaged 28 minutes and 12.8 points per game that year. The same year, but with Detroit, he averaged... 32 minutes a game and averaged 17.6 points a game. This year he's averaging 20 points per game and averaging in th around 31 minutes. Uh, let's go to John Wall now and see his career stats with the Wizards. 2010-2011 with the Wizards, he averaged 37 minutes and averaged 16 points per game. 2011-2012, he averaged 36 minutes and 16 points a game. 2012-2013, he averaged 32 minutes and 18 points a game. So he stepped his points up a little bit. 2013-2014, he averaged 36 minutes. Stepped his points up again. He averaged 19.3 points a game. 2014-2015, he declined. He averaged 17.6 points a game. Right now, he's averaging 18 points. Four points a game. For his career, he's averaging 17.7 points a game. Pretty damn average if you ask me. Steve Nash had better numbers than that, by the way. Um, Red, with, with uh, John Wall do get at least nine or eight assists per game for his career, so that's pretty good. But Reggie is averaging around seven assists, too, for his career. So clearly, Reggie Jackson was a product of Russell Westbrook, man. Clearly... If he was averaging fucking 21 minutes a game and averaging 13, 14 points a game, clearly he was a product of Russell Westbrook. He was playing behind Russell Westbrook, so he couldn't get as many touches or as many looks at the rim or as many minutes. Clearly, John Wall got him beat by at least 14 minutes <laughs> extra a game. John Wall, like I said, his first year averaged 37 minutes a game and only averaged fucking, hold on. And average 16 points. He had 36, 7 minutes a game and average 16 points, man. So clearly if Reggie Jackson had his own team around the same time, John Wall had his same team, Reggie Jackson numbers will be way better than um, John Wall. Um, I'm not trying to discredit John Wall. He is a good player. He's not what people think he is. Y'all just dick sucking because he's fast and he pit up behind his back a couple times, laid it up and dunked a couple times and made it to the All-Star on some fluke shit because there really ain't no real good point guards in the East besides Kyrie Irving and, um, and an average point guard in fucking Jeff T. For his career, he's averaging Jeff T numbers, which is pretty average. Um, as you can see now, Reggie Jackson is averaging 20 points in, in, in 31 minutes. So clearly he's still getting less minutes than John Wall and, and putting up better numbers this year. John Wall this year is averaging 31 minutes. He's averaging two and a half more minutes than um, than uh, Reggie Jackson. And Reggie Jackson is putting up better numbers than him. So clearly here, Reggie Jackson is the best point guard, better point guard out of these two um, you guys this year. Not going off the pass when he was a, a bench player for OKC because they had a superstar in Russell Westbrook. Um, I'm not just saying that because I'm a Pistons fan. If he was better, then I would say he's better. Like I would say Steph Curry is better. Who else better than Reggie Jackson out of the point guards that's in this NBA? Uh, Kyle, no. Kyle Lowry is not, no. Um, Kyle Lowry is a good point guard, but not better than Reggie. I'd take him over him any day of the week. Um, Isaiah Thomas, no. Nah. Reggie better than him too. One on one, Reggie would defeat him every time. Um, too little. He's a good point guard. Don't get me wrong. I would have loved to have um Isaiah Thomas. Who else? Um, who was it? Steph Curry. You already know he's the best in the game right now. Westbrook better than him. Jeff T not better than Reggie Jackson. Um, 
It's really not. I can, like I say, man, Reggie Jackson right now is top 10 or at least top 7 point guards in the NBA right now. And if you want to debate it, let's debate it in the comment section below. Uh, right now, he's better than a lot of point guards. He's better than John Wall, I'll tell you that much. And as you can see, the minutes John Wall is getting, is he averaged way more minutes than Reggie Jackson ever averaged in his fucking career. And he's only averaging for his career 17.7 points a game. You think I'm lying? It's right. Hold on. Hold on. Let it let it zoom in. It's a career at the bottom, the at the very bottom right there. Say career. And then it's a 17.7 points a game. That's pretty average if you ask me. If I can remember, Steve Nash averaged around 22 points a game. <laughs> and about 11 assists. So he's pretty, he's not that elite, man. He's an elite point guard, but he's not that elite. He's not that elite. He's only elite because he built his name and built his fan base. And he's went to the All-Star game a couple of times because he's a fucking starter. And he's fast and he could put it behind his back and lay it up. Can't shoot worth a shit still. Um, he's never really been a good shooter. Uh, he's not all that, man. He's just not all that. I'm sorry. Reggie Jackson is the better guy. Share my video. Like my video. Let me know what you guys think in the box below. Thank you. LB one up.